video I'm going to talk about tires. The tires I have are Goodyear's on this Tesla S70 and uh, they are approaching 58,000 kilometers. Yes, they are original tires and I know many of you will be wondering how is this possible, especially those with Model X or performance uh, Model S's where they literally chew through the tires. Please let me know in the comment section below how many kilometers you have done on your original tires and please also mention whether it's Model S or Model X or model, even Model 3 if you are in uh, US or Europe. Thank you. Advantage here is that uh, this, is, uh, this car has a coil, sp coil springs, so no air suspension. So that's why it's probably easier because its uh, wheel alignment has been done properly and it runs nicely. I understand that there, there are some issues with air suspension when you set them to v low or very high. And then of course the angle uh, is uh, not friendly for those tires and they wear out quicker. These are Goodyear's Eagle RSA, so it's uh, 245-45-19 and uh, they are pretty much done. And what I've done, I bought these wheels uh, and the tires that have done very few kilometers it was an upgrade of the wheels and tires straight after somebody bought uh, the car. What I've done, I've took, taken them, I had them, I had them taken off the rims at our local tire place, which is about a kilometer from here. And uh, I took them off and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put a foam, dampening foam in them because they don't have any. I really want this car driving as silent as possible. And once you go electric, any extra unnecessary tire noise is annoying. My idea is to get thicker and denser foam than this. This is almost see-through foam from a local shop, Clark Rubber, uh, here in, uh, on the north side of Brisbane. And I'm going to get thicker, denser foam and basically seal it inside. It will be wider. This, uh, this one is quite narrow. This is just a sample I had of this. I use it for air filters for scooters. And uh, that foam, when thicker, it basically will dampen and, uh, and silence the noise that is coming from the road. So I'll keep you posted. This is just a quick video. This is to also tell you that you can easily carry four full wheels in more or less. I had them here spread before before I took them to the tire shop. So, the, so there was uh, that one there, exactly the same way as there, and two wheels fit here on the top of each other at the back. And after they've been taken off, I have placed a wheel rim in front. One of them is in front, so I'll just show you. It fits beautifully in there. So just the right size if you have a rear wheel drive, if you have a dual motor, you will not be able to fit a rim in there. These are 19 inches. 21 would fit as well. There is still a bit of a clearance there. If this is your first time on this channel, feel free to subscribe. Click on that button and on the bell notification so YouTube will send you future uh, updates about our future videos. Uh, feel free to like and uh, share as well if this was helpful. Stay tuned for the second part of this video when I get the right foam and uh, have the tires ready uh, and on the rims and on the car. See you next time.